As missiles fly between Iran and Israel, a high-tech battle is unfolding above our heads, one of interception and survival. Israel's sophisticated, multi-layered missile defense system has intercepted many of Iran's ballistic missiles, but not all. So how does missile defense actually work? And why is it so hard to stop a missile attack? It all starts the moment a ballistic missile is launched. Within seconds, military satellites in orbit detect the missile's heat signature, the intense infrared glow created during launch. The clock is now ticking. Next, ground-based radars swing into action, tracking the missile's trajectory and calculating its potential impact point. There's little time to react, just minutes or even seconds. That's when a defensive interceptor missile is fired. These interceptors are designed to hit an enemy missile in space before it re-enters Earth's atmosphere. Systems like Israel's Arrow 3 or America's ground-based interceptor play this role. But interception in space is incredibly hard. Once both missiles shed their boosters, they become smaller, faster and harder to track. A warhead might be just three feet wide, traveling at two miles per second. The interceptor must hit it head on, using advanced sensors and micro thrusters to steer in real time. But by the time it sees its target, it has less than a second to adjust. If that fails, there's a second line of defense. Systems like Arrow 2 or Thad operate in the upper atmosphere, firing within seconds to knock out missiles as they descend. And finally, there's the last chance. Short-range interceptors like the Patriot system. With a range of just 12 miles, these can only protect specific areas, such as cities or military bases. Each system in Israel's defense network covers a different layer. Iron Dome for short-range rockets, David Sling for medium-range threats, and Arrow systems for long-range ballistic missiles. But even with all this, no missile defense is perfect. Some of Iran's missiles still made it through, striking Israeli towns and leaving civilians dead or injured. Interceptors can miss or be overwhelmed by the sheer number of incoming threats. And every interception uses up a finite supply of defensive missiles. While an Iranian missile may cost tens of thousands of dollars, each Israeli interceptor can cost millions. Israel must now ask, will our supply last longer than theirs? In the high-speed, high-stakes world of missile defense, the margin between success and tragedy is razor thin. Technology helps. But in the end, even the best defense can be overwhelmed by a determined adversary.